Hey guys, this is Michael and I'm with Ashley and Jada. Hello! Uh, they come around every uh, spring and summer at least once. Yes. And uh, Jada has... Golden ticket time. Jada has uh, come along with Ashley today and we are uh, we're gonna do a little bit different today. Uh, same setup as the last couple videos, except we've knocked out the uh, first limb line so they get, both get one jug, okay? <laughs> All right, and then there's two trot lines and there are four limb lines, okay? So what we're gonna do is just do the competition like we always do, except I won't be in it. I'm just gonna be the judge, the scorekeeper, the executioner if I need to be. Executioner? I have to make the judgment call. I hope he's referring to the fish. <laughs> <laughs> to the loser. You're both gonna get a jug, and if you haven't been paying attention, if you catch something on the jug or you catch a flathead on one of the limb lines, you will, catch, you will win one of Five prizes. We'll announce the prizes if it comes up. Kentucky brush and solid solutions. These guys are friends of mine. They are sponsoring part of our uh, fundraiser this year. And if you catch anything on the jug, it'll double our score for the day. Uh, fundraiser scores all all going to be normal. So I need you guys to pick which one you want to do. All right. I'm going to let Ashley pick first. Okay. This is a Wally line or the Brad line. Zuwali line. All right. Stick with the classic. Okay, and then there's just one more choice. There's there's four limb lines. So who wants the first two or the second two? Jada wants the second two. Cause that's three and four in it. Four is your lucky number. All right. So now we have it, and we'll we'll take off here in a second. Y'all y'all can throw that out. And uh, scoring is just going to be like the fundraiser, okay? I did want to say like I was really excited whenever I saw the video for what the fundraiser was for this year. Um, I volunteered a few times at the Center for Courageous Kids. That's um, right. Jada's been to CCK. She worked yeah. there, and uh, she's familiar. Volunteered a few times. Work? No. She was <laughs> there great people. helping out. Yes. And we're um, trying to raise money for them just to, it's a great because, you know, we have a YouTube channel, and uh, it makes us feel good to actually do something with it. So here we are. All right, so wish them some luck. Ashley's got the first two. Jada's got the second two. Kind of doing a silly competition to see who the winner is. The winner Champion is of the green. I think Ashley's won both the last two times. No, I Third think time's I, the tour. I think I won. Did you win one? The first time, I'm pretty sure. No. The second time, she got that huge Did one. I remember you took a dip in off of the swing oh, because you lost. We're not baiting right now. Just go ahead and just give it a tug to make sure there ain't something sitting on the bottom. We about lost the drone again, guys. We're destined to lose the drone. The old halo has been acting up. Oh, oh, number two. It's got something on her, though. There's definitely sure a fish on that one. We got two nets, a small net and the big net. You're just going to manhandle it into the boat? Well, we'll see how big. It's probably a tiny one. I like that limb, though. We've done pretty good. We haven't caught anything huge yet. But... Oh. Oh. oh, I don't know. This one's a fighter. I'll take the little thing. I don't want to lose it. This is for, for an unknown prize. Ooh, Ooh, this is a do you want the big one? No. There you are. Blue cat. That's a decent sized blue cat. Ooh. Boom, we'll have to weigh that. This fish has been ornery. All right, real quick, I'm gonna be looking at it. Seven pounds for it. <laughs> All that for a seven pound fish. All right, $10 fish. So now, dropper go, the... go ahead and throw it out. That thing is the meanest fish I've ever seen. <laughs> These beautiful rocks, guys, is why we chose this spot. 
Oh. No, Flathead. Flathead's gone. All right, guys, as you guys know, if you catch a flathead on the limb line, that was the smallest flathead of the year, <laughs> uh, you win a prize. So one of five prizes, day at the spa, dinner for two, two tickets to any local amusement park, get your nails done, or $50 cash on the spot. And I am, I'm down to the spa or the uh, restaurant. The thing about the spa is, is I would like a massage, but I don't know if you get it. I like I just can't sit on my stomach, you know. And so I'm gonna choose restaurant. All right. Guess what we do? Restaurant. Just tell us which. Tell us which one, and we will Why throw it out the other side. Why do you want me to do it? Other side. Because you're not on top of it. You needed to be over here to check it. You're busy collecting your prize. We got the Zawali trot line right here, and we got the Brad trot line. It's got the Brads on it. I made it. It's up river. So you guys, which one y'all want to do first? Brad, I'm gonna go last. All right, we're gonna do Brad. Again, same scoring. It's got 12 hooks on the trot line. It's all the way across the river. And Ashley mentioned that we hadn't talked about the uh, prize for the winner this year. Uh, it's going to be just Queen of the Green, best of five. So Ashley's up 2 0. Just needs one more. But if, if Jada were to pull it off, then uh, we have to go to game four. What is the, what does the Brad line mean? There's these little metal brads instead of knots, like the Zawali, that hold the line apart. Uh, that hold the leaders on. Now be careful, because we got some good bait on there, and this water is perfect. And I'm just waiting for the big fish to start biting. Oh, they're too big. I so they could have bit. I put goldfish and skipjack on mainly. If you sit all the way on that far side, it'd probably be best. This side. Far side. Sit over there. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't dangle your feet either because if a hook. Yeah. You get the thing. What is it? A fish. What? You want me to get it? No. Yeah. Uh. I didn't specify in the beginning, but you're supposed to get it in yourself. <laughs> no. I think we y'all have always done the teamwork thing. It's because I'm very nervous if I lift and stuff. All right, that's about the same size, maybe slightly smaller than the last one. Ten dollars, ten dollars. Just a beautiful day out here in Kentucky, guys, on the Green River. If I didn't mention, running trout lines. Oh. Now, you don't have to use a net, but you probably should. Don't let go of the yeah. line. Literally, just. <laughs> Just, it's just a little dangerous when you do that. It could pop out. It's not, Boom. It's not a habit of mine. Yeah, most, some people even disagree with me on that, but I, that's the way I was always taught. Because what's happening is all the weight is on the he's, hook. He's like a six pounder, I would say. No. Maybe five, five? Maybe. Maybe four or five. Oh, I feel another one. Feel another one. Let me go ahead and start asking you guys some questions. Uh, both of you each. Longest job you ever had? I got five years. I worked at a law office. Brick. <laughs> what about you, Jada? Um, it's a tie. Four years coaching gymnastics and four years at Shop NBC. Cool. I went forever at gymnastics. I did that for five years too. No, you didn't. Have you ever punched anyone in the face? No. No. Favorite scary movie? I don't really like scary movies. I know. You gotta have a favorite one. Um, I would say definitely I do have a favorite. And um Is it small? Big? It's it's, it's about the same size as the last one. We've been tearing up these smaller fish, which is what happens before the monsters bite. Jade is an expert at this point. 50. Is that 50? 
40. 40 points. I was just like, don't be giving her extra points. Oh, uh, you have three wishes, Jada, but you only have 20 seconds to name them. Go. Um, unlimited funds, um, world hunger and poverty ended. I was going to say. <laughs> That's two. 18. 19. Do you have one? It's... Eh, okay, world hunger and poverty. Good health for my family and myself that we die in our sleep peacefully at an old age that we're comfortable with saying bye. Yes, die in your sleep. Or or just, you know, go He's crazy. He's like, we're trying to make a show here, Jada. <laughs> no, I was going to... You can probably lift it up. There's only like one hook. Well, it's not coming up. That's it, yeah? Yeah. You want to pass it back to go under or just drop just, it? Just drop it. All right, Jada has, well, you still have the jug, but preliminarily, is that a word? You got 40 points. It's decent. Again, we're best of five, best of five, guys. That's probably all I got in me. And uh, today's the third Ashley and Jada episode. And there's always a competition. And uh, Ashley's won the last two. But she's in danger today. 10 to 40 right now. All right, guys, this is the Zawali line made by a guy in Zawali, Louisiana. Passed away. passed away last year. Aww. We've been using it for a few years now. Caught some big, watch out. Caught some big fish. And it's some of these lines that were sent in were uh, made for commercial use, but we're recreationally trot lining, which is kind of weird, but <laughs> <laughs> which is why we do the fundraisers and the games. And it's a good thing to record, you know, to set it and come and do it all at once. I'm telling you, I came with clean feet. You got dirty feet? Feeling something? Yeah. Look. Yeah, I see it. Very, very sunny, guys. I can barely see the camera. I'm hoping it's decent. I know it's not, but it's as long as you can see what's going on. We were talking about this the other. It's not very. She's making fun of my small one. Decent. Now that small flathead you caught was small though. <laughs> we caught one smaller than that last year, but not much. We're still waiting for the big fish. That's why we got goldfish. Once we catch a big flat, I'm gonna start putting bluegill on. I'm not gonna waste them. We haven't caught a single gar this whole year, but I think they've been out. We've been ripped off several times. You put your line out and you go back two hours later and all your bait's gone. The perpetrators, yeah, and I've actually thrown around the idea of putting some kind of value, you know, like our game, like if we oh, catch yeah. a gar and something, but I haven't figured it out yet. And this no, is all. been little, but it was quite the fighter. I know that was. It's sometimes it's just the way the sinkers are. It'll feel like a monster sometimes. You'll be getting the net out, and you'll be telling everybody and then you come up on it and it's three pounds. Well, I thought I had a really big one. It was just a stick under, you know, stuck under Yeah, it. you do it enough. There's a drum under the boat if you hear it groaning. Let's see here. Whenever you guys are going to park your vehicles, do you search for a spot or do you just park? I like a pull through, so I search a little, but gotcha. I'm not, I mean. If you see somebody pulling out near the door, do you wait on them? No. <laughs> it, well, it depends on how, on how yeah, how, if there's someone behind me, definitely not. If they are just now like loading up their groceries, but like if they're getting in and it's turned on and their reverse lights are on, then I'm letting them out even if I'm not taking their parking spot, so it just depends. I gotcha. I honestly prefer to park in the back. I like no cars around me. Yeah. Like when I'm pulling out, I don't have to worry about people walking by. 
I will pass up closer. I will pass up closer spots if they're all tight. I'll, I'd rather just be out there where there aren't any cars and not have to worry about it. I got one on the end. There is a fish over there. There is. Which will give you just 30 points. Not but unless it's over 10 pounds. Too. I what think there's it? one at the far end as well. Really? Yeah. I didn't see that. There's a sinker the over there. Oh, I can't. Oh, yeah, that one's not. That's only a 10 pounder. So far, I'm still in the lead. You mean it's not? Oh, it's a flathead, though. Yeah, we didn't put no value to them on the lines. Although, I may have to keep that one. Jimmy's been requesting flatheads. All right, that's a, that's a huge flathead compared to the other one. Just saying huge. I was like, no, it's not, but compared to the other one. Sinker over there. Now, my yeah. only hope is a jug. Our jug's worth more, aren't they worth more points? Hold it, hold it. I've got it. Yeah. Nice okay, so it's, what is it, 40 to 30, but the jug, like we said, will double your score. So, technically. Double the score! Yeah, that's the, what we said in the beginning. All right, here's your question. Do you carry a purse? Yes. What kind of purse? Um, usually a smaller crossbody purse. What about you, Jada? <laughs> yeah, I'll carry a purse on occasion. It's okay. just uh, currently, it's just a little brown one. A small crossbody purse. You yeah. gotta carry stuff to, to keep your stuff in. I mean, dudes even do. You have wallets that you keep your stuff in, right? That's right, guys. Today's episode is brought to you by Ridge Wallets. It's a, a small, compact wallet, about the size of a card or your ID. Um, you put, you know, you can put 12 cards in it. Uh, I usually just have four, a couple uh, debit cards and an ID. Uh, you have a money clip, and uh, it fits in every pocket. Uh, I still put it in my back pocket. Uh, I like it because it's small, but I also like it because, does your dog eat your wallet? <laughs> does your dog have an appetite for leather? <laughs> Cletus does. Try a titanium wallet and they won't chew it up, hopefully. Father's Day is coming up as well. So there's a link in our description, 15% uh, off. You have to use our code as well, hook, line, chill. So click the link and then use our code, hook, line, chill. They're quality wallets. They have titanium, which is this type. Then they have, I think, aluminum and carbon fiber. Very tough, durable, and uh, they have a uh, lifetime warranty and 45 day return policy. Excellent Father's Day gift. Check it out, guys. Link in the description. Jada has pulled it off this year, guys. Our, our camera is dying. It's hot out here. So, uh, this is Michael with Ashley and Jada. See you next time. Bye.